everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Gen X, and in today's video, I'll be showing you how to get free overlays for your live streams. All of these free overlays can be found at overlays.uno. I will have the link for you in the description below. I will also link their Discord. There you'll be able to connect with other content creators, make requests, suggestions, and also give feedback on your overlays. If this video helps you out at all, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment in the comment section below. All right, let's show you how to do this. All right, to get started, you're gonna head on over to overlays.uno, the link is in the description below. Once you're on the homepage, the first thing you're gonna do is click on sign up. On the sign up page, you're gonna enter in your email address and create a password, and then click sign up. Now that you're signed in, go over to the left and click on library. As you can see, there are dozens of different categories and functions to choose from in their catalog. Once you have found the overlay that you'd like to add to your live stream, all you have to do is click on it and then click add to my overlays. It will automatically add your selection to my overlays. To get started editing and adding it to OBS, go ahead and click on these three dots and select open. Here on your overlay controls, you'll be able to change all of the information that pops up on your overlay and even be able to customize the colors that go along with it. Simply change the name in the box and it'll change it on the overlay. As you can see, it's as easy as that. To add an image for your logo, go back to the main screen, go to My Images, and select Upload Image. From there, you'll be able to select Choose File and choose an image off of your computer. Once you find your image file that you'd like for your logo, select Open. You can now back out and go back to the overlays control. When you select the folder option, go to all images, select your image, and you can see now your logo has been added into the overlay. Once you're done editing all the properties and you're happy with what you see, you can go ahead and select customize and change all of the colors to match your brand. Simply click the color and change it here on the dial. When you are done editing your overlay, now it's time to add it into OBS. Up here, you have three different buttons. I'm gonna go over each one of them. The first one is to copy your output URL. If you click that, you now have a URL to bring into OBS for a browser source. All right, once you have your OBS open, you're gonna go ahead and click the plus sign to add in your overlay. Select browser, create new browser, select okay. Here on this tab, in the URL box, you are going to paste the URL that you just got from overlays.uno, and then select OK. Now that it's added, you could drag the box to make it any size that you'd like, and also drag the box to any location to where you'd like to have the overlay. Now let's head back to overlays.uno. Now the second button here on Control Overlays, what that does is it'll copy your control URL to your clipboard. This serves two purposes. The first purpose is back here on OBS, you can go up to Docs and select Custom Browser Docs. And you can name it whatever you like. I'd like to name mine Uno. And then here on URL, you're going to paste the URL that you just got from overlays.uno. Click Apply, then Close. As you can see, it has added the custom doc from overlays.uno into your OBS. So now you don't have to go back to overlays.uno to control your overlay. Now I said it had two features. The second feature is, is that you could take that overlay link and you could send it to your friend and they can control your overlay while you're streaming remotely from anywhere. That's right, you can have somebody control your streams remotely using that control URL. And finally here on the overlays control is our third button. What this does is it copies your UNO token. Your UNO token is how you're gonna be able to control your overlay using your stream deck. Here on the home page at the bottom, you will find the Stream Deck plugin option. Here on the Stream Deck page, you're going to scroll down and select Plugin Direct Download. Once it's done downloading, go ahead and run it, and you'll see that it installs the plugin directly into your Stream Deck. You will now see Uno overlays. To add it to your Stream Deck, go ahead and drag Uno Control to your Stream Deck. And then you're going to paste the UNO token from the third button on the overlays.uno page. And hit enter. You'll now be able to select an action for your button on your stream deck. 
For this overlay, we're gonna use the toggle overlay option for this button. Now here back on OBS, when I hit the button, it goes away and when I click it again, it brings it back and you can see that it turns it on and off over on the lower third control panel here on OBS. Well, that's it, everybody. It's as easy as that to set up free overlays on your live streams at overlays.uno. If this video helped you out at all, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment in the comment section below. We'll see y'all next time. And remember, don't be toxic, spread positivity.